Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. All right, over the weekend, Premier League Team of the Season came out, as we all already know, and some fantastic cards came out with it. So I'm pretty excited to see what you guys have been doing with your teams. One thing I would say, actually, first of all, straight away, this Wilfred and DD card is a must-do, in my opinion. Uh, for the price, for what? 100 and, 160k, I think it is. I don't know why it's not showing up. There you go. 180k or 160k on Xbox. Um, if you have any fodder as well, make it a whole lot cheaper. I think that this right here is way, way good value. I think, honestly, it's a fantastic CDM card. Uh, what did I put on him? I put Engine on him. Uh, improves his pace, dribbling, and passing. Makes him a 95 CDM. Uh, you guys can't see because my face is blocking it, but it's a 95 CDM, a 94 centre mid. Um, I think it's very good value for money. Anyway, jumping into it, we've got Harrison's team. He says, I am not sure which team I switch Rashford and Fred in game. I've got 50k for improvements, but can easily get more. All cards apart from Mendy and Rashford are untradeable. Keep up the streams. Love your videos. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. We are recording this live on stream as well. Um, yeah, Rashford is a no-go, man. Rashford, Normal Rashford at this part of the year, mate. Big, big no-no. Um, I like what you've done here. I like this setup. This is a good setup. Rooney sentiment is very good. Deco is a bit attacking. Um, he's a little bit attacking. I think you can get rid of Luca Tony over there at Cam for Deco and play Luca Tony as a um, play Luca Tony as a super sub maybe, uh, and play Deco as a centre mid possibly. I'm just trying to think what the best way to get full chemistry here is. Um, what is your best bet at full chem? I think your best bet here at playing full chem, getting full chemistry. Sorry, is going a four three three brackets three. Going with Fred over here at this right CDM spot um, to get Fred on chemistry. Putting Luca Tony down to the bench, in my opinion, because I don't think Luca Tony is fantastic. But other people like him. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, so you can then play Rooney and uh, Watkins to get the strong link down the middle. I'm pretty sure they do strong link, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, play play Rooney and Watkins um, as a centre mid and striker to get the strong link. Then over on this left side, um, you can literally go anyone you want down here. Uh, you're looking for a new cam. You're going to have the French connection and the Dutch connection there. So you can go with anyone. Uh, in my opinion... Looking at the team, I think you could benefit from possibly um, a La Liga player down that left side. Obviously, Rooney's going to get eight chemistry because he's going to have two dead links unless he's an icon. Um, although, I mean, Deco wouldn't be too bad as a cam. Um, I think he can do better. Deco's all right. I mean, look at his stats. He's okay. I just, I'm, I'll be honest with you. People like Deco, Rui Costa, people like that, I just don't like him that much. I just don't like him very much at all. Um, looking at the stats, like I feel like he'd be a bit of a donkey in game. 75 finishing. Um, 78 penalties, people, things like that. Just stats like that really put me off. Even with a with a good chemistry style on, he's still the only thing he's got to his game is dribbling and passing, which isn't bad for a cam. But you want a cam that could actually score goals. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you want to use Deco though, use Deco as a cam by all means and play him as that left CDM spot, and you've got a really good team there. Everyone on full chemistry. Um, but yeah, it's completely it's completely your call. I think whether you go with that or not. I just don't, I'm just not a big fan of, of Luca Tony or Deco really. And normal Rashford at this part of the game? No. Am I saying, did I say Luca Tony? Luca Tony. Who's Luca Tony? I'm recording this live on Twitch, by the way. I'm pretty sure Luca Tony's that Italian guy, isn't he? What's, what's Tony's first name? Is it Ivan Tony? Ivan Tony. Luca Tony, Ivan Tony. They're the same person, all right? Shut up. Um, I'm right, moving on. We've got Aziz's team. He says, hey man, love the vids. Got 200k. Can save and grind. Uh, and stacked club of fodder. For improvements, tradable on Neymar and Van Dyke. Any ideas? Let's check it out. Oh, man, I'm loving that indeed. I like that you're using him. Um, Neymar is a good shout over that left wing as well. To be honest, the only thing I'd say with this team is probably try and work on upgrading Van Dyke and, and Lucas. Now, Lucas will be a difficult one to upgrade. There isn't a whole lot of Brazilian attackers in the Prem that are fantastic. Um, you might have to go Icon there, to be honest. Um, and that's obviously going to be an upgrade you do far in the future anyway. If I'm, if I'm talking icons and what you want to play here, someone that will match Lucas pretty well, I think Zola. I think Zola's got very similar stats to Lucas, but just better um, in terms of really good dribbling, small, good pace, pretty strong on the ball, good low center of gravity, decent shooting, four star, four star. So you could wait to get him um, and maybe just try and upgrade people like Allison and, and, and Van Dyke as you go along. One thing I will say as well, a little bit of advice for everybody. Um, gold upgrades are insane right now. Gold upgrades are pretty incredible at the minute. They, they seem very, very OP. I have packed a lot of good stuff from gold upgrades. So I would say if you guys are looking for um, for for stuff to do right now and you've got players in the club, 
do some gold upgrades. It's fun, and you might get yourself a team of the season. You never know. Anyway, Fearless's team now. He says, hey, this is my team. I play a 4 2 3 one in game uh, with Sane at striker. Starting 11 and bench and reserves are all untradeable except for Adama and Allison. There are no loans on there. I've got 150k to spend. You should have gold one rewards on Thursday. Uh, no more icon swaps. Thank you. Hey, wait, I mean, GG on finishing your icon swaps. I feel like there can be can be a very nice feeling to finish icon swaps as well. Um, first things first, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think Adama's fantastic at striker. I packed Adama last night and I've been using him. Um, and although he's not bad, I just don't think Adama at striker is phenomenal. I think you can sell Adama. He's currently quite inflated due to his hype. I think that um, four five hundred k is still quite expensive for this card. Uh, I think he'll drop down to like 300. So I would say sell him whilst you can get 400k and then add that to the 150k you have. We've got 550 for a Premier League striker. Let's have a look what we got going over here. Let's have a look what kind of options we have for a Premier League striker. Or, I mean, you can use a right wing or left wing as well. Um, for like 550k, PlayStation min 1000. And five, I mean, no, it's 580, isn't it? 580k on PlayStation. Have a look what you got. I mean, you've got Inform Mo Salah, who'd be a pretty solid option in my opinion. Don't I don't like Record Breaker Aguero. I think he's a bit slow. 84 pace, I think, is a little bit slow. But this card, I think, will be fantastic. Um, he's got very well-rounded stats as well. Only problem is three-star weak foot is not ideal, but it's not the worst in the world. Uh, and if you want four-star weak foot, you can go with his teammate in Sadio Mane. 300k for this card is actually a steal. He was a million coins at the start of the year. This could be a very good card to use as well. Uh, you got obviously a Bamiyang, you got Firmino. I'm not a big fan of Firmino, but you can go with uh, an upgraded Son, his 88 card. What's his 88 inform looking like? What's his 89? 89 Son for 365. I mean, if you want to play players off chemistry, you're playing, you're playing players off chem. You're saying Sane striker, is that what you said? He plays Sane striker. Even so, Sane striker is still terrible. Sane striker is still terrible, though. Both of them are terrible. Both of them are terrible strikers. Sorry, I'm, I'm arguing with Twitch chat right now. They're all telling me... I mean, he did say Sane striker. Sane's an awful striker, though. In my opinion, anyway. Three-star weak foot, I just don't think is... I don't think it's the play, to be honest. What's he got? 89 finishing, 85 composure. It's a bit meh. Like, I don't really... I don't I don't agree with it, to be honest. I think I think someone like a Sadio Mane or Hyungman Son is way better than Sane striker. I'd still... I still agree with selling, uh, selling a Dharma as well. Play Sane as a wide cam, probably on the wide left, so he can cut in. Um... Not the wide left, sorry. Wide right, so we can cut in. Um, I think Bernardo's got four-star weak foot, so you probably want to play him on the left because at least he's got that four-star weak foot for right-footed shots. Um, and then get yourself maybe even 89 Hyungman Son uh, or get yourself Sadio Mane for striker and play him at striker. I don't think Sane is good at stri uh, striker. Prove me wrong. If you guys disagree, then feel free to disagree. But yeah. Uh, anyway, next team is coming from Josh, who says, love the vids, mate. Keep up the awesome streams, man. I have 500k for upgrades and everyone is untradeable. First picture is how I start and the second picture is how I play in game. Let's check it out. Um, all right, so you've got 500k. Ooh. Mm. Stegen in goal, off cam. I do not like goal. Uh, I do not like goalkeepers off cam. I'm going to say that right now. Goalkeeper choices you can go with. Team of season, Allison, 97 rated, 200k right now. Pretty good value for money. I know to Stegen's about 50. So, you know, I think, I think you know, the difference in value is, is not that much for a big upgrade, in my opinion. And I think that that, that goalkeeper card, that Allison card is very good. And then I think that uh, normal Hyungman Son, I think you can upgrade to as well. Upgrade to a better version of him. Like I said, playing his left mid at striker off chem is not the worst idea in the world. Seven chemistry. He's only 360k for his 89 rated card. Big upgrade from his 87, in my opinion. Uh, the rest of the team, I wouldn't really I wouldn't really change anything. I think that this left mid uh, over Mars is actually really good. Um, I think that Ronaldinho is very good. I've used him myself. I like to call him Fraudinho because he misses a lot of easy chances. But when he's when he's playing, you know, when he's really playing well, he's clutch. He's absolutely clutch. Uh, Kante is solid, obviously. Um, just wait until you've got more coins, to be honest. Make those upgrades and then start saving again. When you eventually get more coins, upgrading Kante wouldn't be the worst shout. Um, I, I like the idea of playing Kovacic as a CDM alongside Ndidi. You've got Ndidi, who's more of a, a brutal, uh, strong CDM. And then you've got Kovacic, who's more of a ball-playing CDM. I think they both work really well together. And that Kovacic is like 200k. It's so cheap. It's a really good value SPC, in my opinion. Um... But the rest of it, yeah, the rest of it is a very good team, to be honest. Uh, next is Masons, who says, I play this in game. I've only got 50k, and the tradables are Sterling, Mora, Wambasaka, Alaba, and Lloris. Okie dokie, let's check it out. Hmm. Is there any need for a special Lloris? In my opinion, I don't think there's any need for a special Lloris. Kovacic, I didn't say Kovacic was an SPC. Chat, what? I'm arguing my Twitch chat. I should not even, I shouldn't even listen to him. 
So he's 200k. Um, anyway, Lloris, special version of Lloris, not a big fan of. Uh, I think normal Lloris is probably not a bad shout. Um, I'm trying to think what you can really improve. I think the only player that I'd improve here is probably... I'd probably just get normal Lloris and save the coins on the special Lloris and get yourself a, a different version of a Bamiyang or upgrade a Bamiyang. Um, you can maybe get like 89 of Bamiyang, to be honest. I don't know if... I don't know how much... It, doesn't a Bamiyang have a 90 card? He does. I don't know how much it is. How much is this card? 383. It's a bit pricey. It's a bit out of the price budget um, with only 50k. But you'll make a little bit... You'll make a little bit back from Lloris. How much is, how much is special Lloris going for? The special Lloris is 119. Minus 31. You got 80k added. So you got what? 130k. You can go with... You can go with... You can go with, I think, 89 of Bamiyang. I just think you need a bit of a juice from from that from that that card to be honest. You need a bit of a juice. Two fifty. He's a bit expensive. Um, you need a bit of a juice. I think normal Abamyang at this part is bad. But yeah, I mean, like apart from apart from Abamyang, the rest of the team is is in an incredible position. Um, you know, moment icons are going to play pretty well. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Litmanen, but I'll be honest with you, you don't have coins to upgrade him. Um, so I'd start saving your coins, maybe upgrade a Bamiyang if you can. Um, I don't see the point in having a special Larice. I really don't think they play any different from their normal cards. Um, that's my personal opinion. Anyway, next one coming from Otto, who just said, I love you, bro. Thanks for this, Eusebio. We just packed Otto Eusebio in the mid-icon upgrade. Actually hilarious, because I thought we got him Soul Campbell, because he already had an untradable Soul Campbell. So I was like, all right, we'll stop recording. We'll go. And then we're just like, all right, I'll just check which icons he's got. And he had Eusebio there. We packed him for him. That's pretty incredible. That'd be in a video probably later this week. Anyway, uh, man like RS, I have 100,000 coins and I play a 4-4-2 four, four, in game. Don't know where to go now. Oh my god, he's got he's got a red Calvin Phillips. This is the one person out of a million that got him, boys. That's crazy, man. GG. That right side, that right triangle is phenomenal. I don't think you ever change that for the rest of the year. That is a phenomenal little triangle right there. Uh, with 100k, you play a 4-4-2, so I'm guessing what you play... I'm trying to figure out what you do here. You play Ben Yedder and Icardi up top. You play Dembele, and then do you play... You play Nakata, is it? No, you play Cyprian as a left mid? Regardless, I think you've got to change up. I think you've got to get another winger in here somehow. I don't know which one you play. I mean, yeah, I don't know which one you play. Um, I don't know which one you play as your uh, as your left slash right mid. But out of Cyprian and the Kata, whichever one you don't play as a, a mid, I would get rid of. Now, I'm also seeing you can get a full chemistry here as well, I think. Uh, play Nakata right striker, move Icardi down to Cam, and then play Ben Yedda left striker. Um, Cyprian has got the perfect link he needs to get full chemistry. He doesn't need another link. So I think you get full chemistry there. Um, so there's no point, there's no point playing a cardi off cam when you don't need to. You know, everyone gets full chemistry with a cardi at cam. Um, so that gets full cam. And then if Cyprian is a player that you, you play as a center mid alongside, uh, uh, Calvin Phillips, then, then keep Cyprian. If Nakata is, keep Nakata. And then the other one, pop out for a winger slash central player that could play wing. Um, there's a lot of great French ones. Uh, there's a lot of great, um, what's the word? What I'm looking for. There's a lot of great, there's a lot of great league gun players as well. I can't even speak right now. A lot of good league gun players as well that can play there. Um, so whichever one you, 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 you use, just get rid of the other one, to be honest. Bench is the one. Um, I don't think it's worth playing a player and then subbing them off straight away. Wasting a pause and a sub at the start of the game, in my opinion, isn't the one. Um, I'm not a big fan of that at the start of the game. I think, pauses are quite important in foot jumps, especially if you're in a really intense game. You need to constantly change things up to see if things work. Um, <clears throat> anyway, next one's coming from Finn, who's got 50,000 coins and everyone's untradeable. I'm in Div 5 and I finished Gold 3. Hugo Sanchez is a god. And I got him out of the Prime Icon Pack. On the bench are loans. I'm not sure who to get from Icon Swaps. Love and peace. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. Hey, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I was unhappy when I got Hernandez, but I mean, I never used him to be fair. I probably should have given him a go. People like... Hugo Sanchez and Hernandez, I guarantee you're actually probably incredible in game. And we just don't use him because we just think L straight away. Um, interesting. All right, what are you playing in game? Are you playing a 4 3 3 4? This formation, by the way, is actually nuts. It, against the 4 2 3 1, this formation shreds. Brandt at left wing, though. I guess he's got 93 pace, isn't he? I mean, let me have a look at Brandt's stats real quick. For a left wing, he actually probably doesn't play horrendously. 90 pace, 93 dribbling. That's what I'm thinking of. What kind of style you got on him? You have a Hawk. Let me check it out. All right. Uh, Hawk. 95 pace in game. 90 and 99. Nice. All right. He's got very good physical stats. Yeah, and it's finished. I'll, I'll tell you what, actually. It's probably, it probably doesn't play terribly at left wing, to be fair. Um, I was going to start bashing it, but I guess there's no other real amazing options you can go with there. It's actually not a bad shout. I would say, right back, start, start the saving process. 
try and get yourself um, foot birthday, Danny DaCosta. I thought he was incredible. DaCosta, when I used him, I was a big fan of him. There was times where he felt pretty slow and pretty sluggish. Um, that's his 85, uh, oh, sorry, 86 acceleration there. But this card overall, five star skills. He's six foot two, very, very strong on the ball, good dribbling. Um, I thought he was really good when I used him. I was very happy with him. So I think that could be a really good upgrade to him. Babu, shame he didn't do road to the final, but we won't dwell on that. Uh, and then lastly, Kovacic. Co um, what about Kovacic? Mason Mount, sorry. I'm not I'm not sure Mason Mount is exactly the world's best choice in terms of a cam. I think Kovacic should play a real real good cam. I'm going to recommend this guy to a lot of people because I think this card is, is, is ridiculously underpriced at 200k. Looking at the card, it could play center mid, CDM or cam. It looks really, really good. Um, I like I like the look of this card a lot. So I would say you could go with Kovacic over over uh, Mason Mount. There's also a few other options you can go with there. To be honest, um, you know you've got French link for, for Premier League, you've got Brazilian link as well, Lucas Moura, something like that. Mason Mount for me, I did use him a few times. Very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. In terms of what you should do with the rest of your icon swap tokens. Maldini's not a bad shout. Um, I know you've obviously got Saar here, but you could play Maldini on full chemistry, and then you could even you could even go as far as it would be a bit of a it would be a bit drastic. But what you could do is if you went with Maldini, you could put Brandt over at left CDM and swap Fred and Hugo Sanchez. Then you could put Boateng left centre back, and then you can go with uh, with Roberto Carlos at left back, and then Saar. Uh, sorry, Maldini, right centre-back, Kante, right CDM, and then Saar at right back off chemistry and play Saar as a right back. It's a bit of a stretch, um, but it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, to be honest. And it, it improved that in Babu for, for no coins at all, actually. So it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Um, next one coming from Alex, who says, Yo, bro, second one is in game. Everyone on tradable except Zoko and Sandro got 700k. Keep up the good work. So everyone's on tradable except Zoko and Sandro. <laughs> bro, you have 700,000 coins and you're using normal Zoko and Sandro. Ah! All right. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're changing that straight away. Suzoko, he's got to go. What? How much is foot birthday, Suzoko? Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm starting to eat my words. I start to, I just saw that. Um... All right. Buy foot birthday, Suzoko. Okay. He, you can just afford him. You can literally just afford him. I've heard incredible things about him. And then start the saving process. Um, use any fodder you got in the club. I see you got players over here like Rashford. At Red Rashford, Red Martial. Imagine getting that lucky, bro. You got the two best. You got the best left winger, the best striker in the Premier League on the bench. Oh, sorry, on the reserves. Crazy. Um, I start saving. Maybe use some fodder towards upgrading Alexandro to his player moments. Uh, it's an endgame left back. It really is. He's a fantastic left back. I got him in the club. He's really good. Apart from that, honestly, I really like the team, to be honest. 4-3-2-1. Um, played against it earlier and couldn't get the ball. Couldn't hold possession at all. It seemed to play really well against me. So good luck with it. Uh, next one coming from Harley. Hope you're safe. Everyone's on trade all. Uh, getting in DDSBC tomorrow. We'll have 30,000 coins left over and I'm willing to save up. Love your streams and content. Hey, thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. Um, that left side link is really good as well as the the Alaba and Fuchs. I like the Fred and uh, Philippe Anderson. Um, what would I say here? Assuming you've already used all your icon swap tokens, you can go with any right back on the planet at right back. Uh, any French, any, any French or Bundesliga right back in the game. You can save up towards getting Danny DeCosta, another one. Save up towards him. Litvinen, not the world's biggest fan of. Um, I see why you got him. Obviously, you need an icon. Um, you, you're getting Ndidi as well. I don't know. How you, how do you plan on doing Ndidi? You're playing Felipe Anderson off cam, or are you going to keep Fred? That That's interesting to me. How are you getting Ndidi into the squad? What I would say is tweet me when you get Ndidi with how you, get, how you plan on getting him in the squad, because that's yeah, definitely interesting. Next up, we've got Morgan's team. 500k spare. Stoichkov is tradable. Play either a 4-2-4 or a 4-4-2 in-game. I think he meant to say 4-2-3-1. Um, all right. Stoichkov is tradable. Okay. And you got 500k. I wouldn't get rid of Stoichkov, to be honest. I like Stoichkov in this game. I think he's really good. Um, hmm, what would I say here? Interesting link over here with Rooney. and Okay. That's very interesting, actually. What would I change? I'll be honest with you, with the amount of coins you've got, there is not much you can change, realistically. There is not much you can change at all here. You've got, I think Goretzka and Kimmich is a fantastic CDM partnership. I think you've got a really good backline going. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much you can change here. If you're playing Rooney Cam, 
maybe work on upgrading Rooney to a better cam. Because I think Rooney's better as a centre mid, not a cam. Uh, then you can go with a better left wing as well. Um, but apart from that, I really don't see much that you can change here, realistically. You can get... Is there a left-sided Jaden Sancho? Apart from the player of the month, and the player of the month is no longer an SBC, so he's not an option. It's the 86 Jaden Sancho. How good is this card? It's only 30k for this card as well. You could upgrade your left wing to... I know it's a lower rated, but you could get yourself Jaden Sancho, or if you want to play this one off chemistry, you could also go with this one off camp and get Jaden Sancho on left wing. Um, or you can get Jaden Sancho at right wing and have a five-star skiller at right wing. Um, and that would... Rooney would still be on eight chemistry with a strong link or not. Um, but apart from, I really don't think there's a massive upgrade you can do in this team. I really don't. Nin 96 chemistry, not a big fan of it. But I see, like, I don't think there's anything really you can do to improve it. Maybe, maybe just go with, maybe go with Road to the Final Jane Sancho over um, Bernardo Silva, to be honest. Apart from that, I don't think there's a massive, I mean, you've got Hudson Adoy on the bench as well. I don't know. Like, this team's a weird one, bro, because you've done so many SBCs. I don't want to tell you to change anything because you've invested so many coins into SBCs. You know? It's a difficult one, in my opinion. It's a very difficult one. Very difficult. Next one coming from Ollie Dolly, who says, Hey, Haber, love you. Uh, love you. Looking for you, your expert opinion. I, honestly, my brain's fried today. I've played a lot weekendly. Uh, look for your expert opinion. <laughs> I just started a, a relationship with Ollie Dolly by accident. Um, looking for your expert opinion on my team, I've got 300k. I'm willing to say Fernandinho, Kovacic, Alba, and De Gea. Uh, tradable in game. Uh, willing to save. Comma. Fernandinho, Kovacic, Alba, and De Gea are tradable. Comma. In game, 4 2 3 1. Lippmann, right cam, Bergwin, uh, cam. Loving the content. Okay, there you go. Well, that wasn't hard. Punctuation, guys. Punctuation. Okay. Um, what am I thinking about this team? I don't like Litmanen, man. I just don't like Litmanen. Like, when you've got 50k, I get it. I get when you why, why you're using Litmanen when you've got like 50k. You have 300,000 coins, bro. Get Shapeshifter Mares. Shapeshifter Mares is 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 the best player you can go for there as an upgrade here. You get the you get the orange link you need to your left wing. I think you just get Shapeshifter Mares over Litman. I just don't like Litman. I think he's terrible. I think he's absolutely awful. Um, apart from that, I think you've got a phenomenal team. Just get yourself Shapeshifter Mares over Litman. I think you'll be laughing. You'll be laughing all the way to the bank, to be honest. Um, I'm not entirely sure about Jimenez either, but you know, I get you. I get it. You know. I get it. It's a free card. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go and do that. Iosi Perez is a free card as well. I, I'd suggest that too. Um, next one coming from Bruce, who says, here's my team. Everything's untradable. I've got 200k and I'm willing to save. Keep it the good vids. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it, man. Jesus, a little bit blurry. Um, what are we saying? Mateus Pereira at Cam. Pepe Ram. Okay. Got someone using Kovacic CDM. I like it. I like it. I wouldn't use Gerard as a CDM, though. Personally. I'm not entirely sure about Gerard as a CDM. Now, the reason why I think that is because I don't think Gerard's got the defensive stuff. In fact, there's a lot of questionable decisions here. Gerard CDM, I don't think he's got the defensive capabilities. Ogbonna on, on 8 chemistry, to Stegen on 8 chemistry as well. Both of them, I, I think, is also a big no-no. Is to Stegen tradable? Everything's untradable. Okay, I understand now then. Um, I guess if you're having no problem 8 chem to Stegen, then keep him. I personally don't think he's a good shout, but that's just me. What I would do here, though, is I would probably... I would probably go ahead and complete the NDD. Um, replace Gerard with him. It's a tough one because it's about replacing a 91 prime icon here. You know, replacing a 91 prime icon, it's like, you know, but I think NDD would be a way better CDM. It's a 91 rate player for a 91 rate player, I guess. Get NDD over here at right center mid and then instead of Mbabu, save up and get yourself uh, team of the season Aaron Wambasaka or team of the season Trey, whichever one you prefer, really. Um, but I'll be honest with you. I think you've got a better black back back line and CDMs then, um, then then if you uh, if you keep Gerard CDMs. Uh, so I can't rate that one anyway. Last one is coming from Matthew Dealey. He says, "Hey, bro, this is my team. Second is what I play in game. Only tradable card is Leno. Any improvements? I don't know how many coins you got, bro. Um, let's check it out. Okay, interesting." Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. I like your CDM partnership. Fred's the GOAT. Um, not sure about Cancelo as a left back. I get why you've got him. 
Uh, maybe try and upgrade Cancelo to a better version of him or get yourself Kyle Walker or a better version of Kyle Walker. Like, I get why you've got them, though. Um, what else would I say here? I like your right side, though. I mean, Danny DeCosta and uh, Boateng's nice. To be honest with you, bro, with the amount of coins you've got, like, I don't know how many coins you've got, but there's not much you can really... There's, there's not much you can really do here to improve your team unless you've got millions of coins. Like, improvements for this team, we're talking get, getting rid of Aguero, getting a team of season striker, getting a team of season right wing, uh, getting a better icon at centre mid, uh, getting an icon or, or team of season left back here. Like, for your team, there's not a whole lot of big improvements you can make with this team without millions and millions of coins, to be honest. Um, and that's a struggle. I always, I always find it hard with these episodes is that we're at the point now where if you don't have millions of coins, it's super difficult to, to really improve your team at, at the stage of, of, you know, where we are May right now. Um, so kind of just wait for some SBCs. See if you get one that, that pops up. Maybe we get like a, I don't know what would be perfect here. A, a 92 rated La Celso SBC, for example, just like off the top of the head, um, that would massively improve the team, uh, over Guardiola. Do you know what I mean? So I would just kind of wait for SBCs, see if you can do the Prem SBC. And if you do, uh, see what you can get from it. You know, you might get lucky and get yourself an Aguero, for example. Or you might get lucky and get yourself like a, I don't know, you might get yourself like a Jordan Henson and it will force you to change the team up completely. So that's what I'd wait for. Um, but that's it for the episode. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. We're not rating this one, obviously, because you don't rate uh, complain app screenshots. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.